I seem to recall a day when we could talk to each other as politicians and public figures about major issues and try to reach uh, conclusions that everyone could agree with. And we did that by some civil discourse with each other. And that seems to be missing today. Our children, our young people are listening, they're observing and they see someone in high office, in a corporation, in an organization, in government. They hear someone spewing out this ugly, ugly, disrespectful language. And this is a leader. What are they to think? Well, I guess this is, this is the way leaders behave. native and I love the state more than anything and I think there's a real opportunity for us as young people to become involved, to become engaged, to vocalize our feelings for how we want this community to be transformed and to start taking action on an individual level, on a community level, at a political level. It's really up to us, truly, to create the community that we hope to have in Arizona forever. Go and get involved in different boards, commissions, community activities, leadership roles, helping their neighbors, helping their communities. I believe there are people who may think, well, what can I do? I can't do anything to help this situation. That there are things you can do with regard to changing conditions in Arizona and changing conditions nationally. It's time for Arizona to come together and create a venue where we can all come together and discuss issues that are important to us. People seemed really inspired to kind of change the way we do business in Arizona. The community has finally spoken. We're discontent with the way the world sees us and the way we see ourselves. And it's the community's job to take care of everybody. Some of us are much more fortunate. We're reaching out to try to do it, but you can't do it alone. I feel like Arizona really as a state is on a cusp where we, if we make the right decisions now, we can really move into a dynamic space. If it was up to me, I would take this idea of becoming involved and make it part of every household. It's one thing to sit in front of my computer and care about an issue. It's an entirely different thing to get up from that chair and talk to people about it and get them involved, really get them to understand how it impacts their life from a head and a heart perspective. If it was up to me, I would make Arizona a, a, a state that was welcoming to all of its residents who recognize the leadership potential that we could all make this state great. The real work happens inside homes. It happens when people bring others along with them when they get involved in community activities. I believe it happens when people go outside their door and meet their neighbor. It's an amazing opportunity and you should really get involved. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Don't waste your life. You only got one and you might as well do something worthwhile, make a difference. If it were up to me, Arizona would become this rich hotbed of community and civic engagement that starts at such a young age and retains and attracts young people to the state and keeps us here, truly. And that we have this generation of young people that are on the rise, that are passionate about their community, that are engaged. And I think that starts with the dialogue amongst young people, amongst each of us saying that we want to create neighborhoods that are different than the ones we may have grown up in, that we want to create education systems that are different than the ones that we were educated in, that we want to create a political process and a way for all of us to become engaged in ways that haven't been conceptualized yet. If every single organization and every leader in all three sectors tomorrow morning began with, I will treat everyone with respect. Even if I don't agree with you, I will speak with respect. Now, if we did this, there would, it would be the most remarkable change in the community, in the society. And as I said today, it begins with us. How do I speak to you? How do you speak to me? 
We know that we can do better. We know that it is possible to reason together with people with different viewpoints and reach some helpful conclusions. We just have to resolve to go back to that style. This is a model for other communities. And it didn't spring from a community that is having a nice, easy time of it. And I think it's very inspiring. There's five very different groups. And what came through that kind of collaboration is a model for all of us. And I was so impressed. It's up to us. And that's what is so powerful about this coalition. They weren't saying, well, the problem's too big, it's someone else's, or let the government do it. No, they're saying, it's up to me. It's up to me, Arizona. 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 It's up to me, Arizona.